Hello again, just wanted to give you guys a quick tip of something that not a lot of people actually take advantage of uh, within Silver FX Pro. So let's go ahead, I'm just going to go straight from Lightroom. Uh, normally I go through Photoshop so that I can have a layer when I'm done, but just in the interest of time, let's just go straight there. Now, just in case I do want to keep uh, what I've done here in Silver Effects Pro and have the ability to come back from Lightroom and uh, make changes later, I'm going to tick this little save and edit later for larger files. Now, something I want you to look at is down here in the loop and histogram and these numbers that are popping up right here. This is the zone system. Now, if you look at this histogram, you can see that I, am, I have a nice wide range from darks to highlights okay so with the right side of this histogram being so close to that right edge i want to be really careful about adjustments that i make especially global ones within this program so that i don't blow any highlights now when i hover over these i'm going to click on uh, number one if i just click on it the little hash marks that show you where that tone is are going to stay so you can kind of zoom in on things and you say all right well i've got zone one re represented right here and if i click on zone two it's going to show me both of those you have to click on them again to get rid of them now that's something that not a lot of people actually know that that's available to do there so i would definitely make use of that so if I want to come up here and make some global adjustments and I want to make sure that I'm not blowing any highlights, I want to make sure I come here and click on number 10 and I can already see that, yeah, probably in the field I blew a couple highlights because they are right there. You can see these little hash marks that popped up. So, so I might want to take my highlights and bring them down a little bit. I'm not going to mess with that right now. So say I have something an element in the image that is very bright, whether it's an object like this or cloud cover. You have to watch out for those clouds. And I want to bring my highlights up. Okay, so if I start cranking this up, I'm going to go a lot just so you can see. Okay, so what I've done here is when I click on that 10, now I know that all of these pixels are blown. So when I turn that number 10 off, you can see how right here I have detail in the shell, but right here I don't. And that is because I pushed those highlights too far. And this also works if you want to, say, keep skin tones in a particular zone on the zone system. Say you want them to be, you know, zone six or zone five or zone four, somewhere in there. You can click on that and then those hash marks, so that's hash marks for zone, what am I at? Zone six. Uh, you can see the little red hash marks all through here and make sure that whatever it is that's important to you that you can keep it within that particular tonal range. So that's just one little trick for Silver Effects Pro that I hope you go ahead and make use of in the future. If you want more tutorials on Silver Effects Pro or the other NIC products, go ahead and visit the link at the bottom and I've got some full classes for you. Y'all have a great day.